Was it really suited for life in a forest? The dragons that return to land discover that the prehistoric world has changed. The era of the dinosaur is over and a new order of animals has risen up to fill the void. Mammals. And mammals provide plentiful food for dragons. The trick is to catch them. The superb camouflage and silent movement has made this dragon all but invisible in the bamboo forest. The wings on this dragon are too small for flight, but the flight bladders provide gentle lift and allow her to glide silently across the forest floor. The markings on her skin break up her outline in the dappled forest light. And to be sure, this massive relic from the age of the dinosaur has had to develop new tricks. Hunting mammals in this compact environment requires tremendous guile. Small, fast and agile, mammals have incredibly acute hearing and smell. Alerted, they can disappear in an instant. Positioning herself downwind from her prey, she lies in wait and listens intently. But she's not ready to strike just yet. Not before unveiling a highly specialized weapon that gives her an edge against this wary prey. <laughs> The forest dragon has developed a remarkable behavioral strategy. Mimicry. By carefully controlling the flow of gases from her flight bladder, she manipulates her voice and entices her prey. But her hunt is disturbed. There's an intruder in her territory, a creature that will come between this dragon and her prey for the last time. It's not just the invasion of her territory that riles her or the loss of the odd meal. This animal is a real and emerging threat to her very survival. A glide is the best her stunted wings allow. But she has the scent now and is determined to finish things. Smaller and more mobile in the forest undergrowth, the new mammalian predators are proving to be accomplished hunters. Left alone, these predators will outcompete her for food, and she would starve. She isn't going to let it happen. The dragon closes to striking range. She blends into her surroundings, unseen, but not unheard. The sound is not a warning to go away, but an invitation to come closer. The tiger senses a meal. But he is a cautious hunter. 
The dragon tries a subtle change of pitch. The prey sounds distressed. An injury, perhaps? Tiger falls for it hook, line and sinker. One less rival, one more meal. The kill is taken to a clearing. This dragon has adapted its ancient weapon into a culinary tool. Cooked meat is far more easily digested. But the flames draw another mammal near. A species that will prove a far greater...